All right, everybody, welcome back to the studio. And doing a little bit of a commentary reaction, I guess, uh, if you will, on um, a scene from the movie The Irishman. The Irishman is a movie that directed by Martin Scorsese, my favorite director, and uh, it's involving this one here has got Robert De Niro in it. Obviously, the film stars Robert De Niro, uh, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, uh, um, Harvey Keitel, all those great actors. Uh, so what they did in the movie to have the because the timeline tracks back and forth a lot. So in order to do the um, the scenes that involve them where they're younger, what they did was they computer enhanced them so they looked younger, although just still using the same actor. Uh, so that led to, I guess, some difficulties where they, even Scorsese even said this, where uh, their body language and their movements and stuff, uh, they had to try to spruce it up. You know, they had to be a little bit more spry uh, you know, mind you, the, the, most of these guys are approaching, you know, some heavy, you know, some age during the current uh, time of making the movie. So, all right. So the scene that we're looking at, which I came across, is the scene where De Niro's character, Frank Sheeran, uh, his daughter, I guess, worked at a market or something. And the guy that, that works there owns it. Uh, I guess he pushed her. So De Niro does what De Niro is known for. He's going to go down there, sort this guy out, and uh, beat beat him up and throw him around the street. All right. So the uh, the, the comments right away. That's what I started reading with the other comments, and it was um, it was pretty uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, the comments really did did a number on uh, just picking this scene apart. One of the comments was. Uh, this is, I'm reading the comments right here. Uh, what the hell was Scorsese thinking? I have no idea how he thought he could get away with such clear signs of old age in a character that's supposed to be in his 30s or 40s. All right. So I'm baffled uh, how the director Martin Scorsese's caliber uh, looked at this and actually thought it was okay. The irony is that this scene would have been easy to fix. I guess nobody had the heart to tell Robert De Niro that he's looking old. All right. This guy's got a time stamp on it. We'll keep an eye out for this when we watch it. At 1.17, 1 minute 17 seconds into this, that little scoot the man does to make sure he's in the correct spot to have Robert De Niro deliver those ancient old man kicks to him is pretty funny okay that little stomp he does with his opposite foot while standing on his hand looks straight out of ps2 game a ps2 game i guess they're talking about the playstation system um this is how i fight my tr okay so you can get the picture i mean they're pretty much picking this apart all right let's go ahead and roll this tape let's see what we got here all right, so he's walking around the corner. He's, he tells his daughter to wait outside. This is the market, right? He's going to go in there. He's making sure. He doesn't want to beat up the wrong guy. Okay, he's talking to him. Some stern words here. He's walking around the counter. You can see it. Oh, okay. He's already punching the guy. Throwing the guy out. Breaking the door. Okay, I don't really know. Oh, man. Yeah, he's kicking him good. Stomping him. Oh yeah, he's stomping his hand. The guy's screaming. Oh, he's going back and stop stomping his hand. Okay. So yeah, all right. Um, you know, looking at it, okay, it's, you know, you never know. You, you know, we're, we're movies. You know, we're so. Everything is so like I, I you know, I use the term like a John Wick movie. Everything is just so fast paced and all this stuff. You know. Sometimes these old timey movies, which I like it, you know, you got to remember, like, you know, looking back, like old timey boxing video videos and stuff. Now, those old the, things are just it just looked different and things were different. You know, those old school, like, uh, you know, like I used to hear a lot. My dad used to say, you know, the old 1960s beating. Um, all right. So he does have a little bit of hesitation in his movements. Uh, that's what I could say, you know, but that could partly be. Um, that now 
behind the scenes, there was photos of this movie when it was being made that De Niro had these giant platform shoes on to uh, make him look a lot more uh, intimidating, imposing, and taller. Uh, they had to do that because I guess the the, the character that he's portraying, the, the guy that it's based on, is a pretty sizable dude. So they had to put him in these giant, like, you know, Herman Munster kind of shoes. So, the, and if you've seen the photos of them, I mean, these things have got like four or five inches of, like, platform on them. Now, that could be what it is. That, you know, obviously they would uh, edit that out, that he's walking on these platform shoes. Now, I wonder if that had anything to do with the awkward movements of it. Because his movements do look a little awkward, and I'm wondering if the shoes had something to do with it. You know, that, that definitely could be. And when you got these giant bricks on your feet, you're going to be really careful. You don't want to hurt uh, your fellow actor. Um, and by accidentally kicking him in the head with these brick of a shoes on, you know, so you definitely want to be careful. So that could be, there could be two factors there, the hesitation uh, in maybe the, the offset body language, you know. So uh, you got to look at other things too instead of just quickly uh, referring to that, you know, that it, you know, could be his age. And I mean, his age, I'm sure, has a little bit to do with it for sure. But anyway, I'm still a fan of Martin Scorsese's films. I still like a lot of the movies that were done from the yesterday years i guess you could say you know um taxi driver still has always remained one of my top movies anyway thanks for hanging out and listening to the jab